Hi there and welcome to Tactical Mag Fed. In this video I'm going to be opening and reviewing the ZTAC Tactical Throat Mic. Stick around to the end as I'll be doing a practical test so you can check out how well it works. Okay, so I've been wondering for some time now whether or not these cheap Chinese kind of budget knockoffs of throat mics actually work. So I've opted to go for the ZTAC uh, version of this. ZTAC are a company that make a wide range of Milsim kind of knockoffs um, for um, scenario gameplay and stuff like that. So they do lots of Peltor imitations and um, the real steel world kind of gear. They condense it down into a more affordable kind of budget end um, gear if you like. Um, I'm choosing my words wisely and kindly because <laughs> effectively yeah they're, they're basically Chinese imitations if you like of the real steel um, equivalents. For my purposes the real steel world kit I don't own real steel um, pistols and such so I'm never going to use it for what it's intended for. These versions suit my needs perfectly because um, I'm not having to need the full functionality of the real steel um, gear and um, to protect my ears. These, some of their kit does have that protection built in. I can't testify as to how well it works but I would imagine it is a percentage of what the real steel one um, would do because the price ranges are so vastly different. Okay. So, I went for the ZTAC um, model of this because I have a ZTAC uh, PTT, I have a Motorola PTT and I have a Kenwood PTT, um, both of which will work with this. Um, and I will go over that briefly because one of the important aspects of these budget end, these budget end kits are that um, a lot of people are reviewing them or doing written reviews on Amazon and stuff like that saying they just don't work. I did this and it didn't work, yada yada yada. Um, the most probable cause for this gear not working is the fact that you've got the, the, the cable, the cable in you're using all the way through to your radio is either isn't compatible or um, it's something else is faulty in the chain. So if you get the wrong if you get the wrong PTT for your radio or if you get the wrong connection from your PTT to your headset, um, it just won't work. So for this purpose I've stuck with ZTAC all the way through because in theory ZTAC should work all the way through. Um, I know that my radio has a Kenwood connector. It's not a Kenwood radio but it definitely has a Kenwood connector. I've had other bits attached to it using a Kenwood connector. All works fine and you know, with them being the same brand, the PTT and the throat mic um, should work. If you're pinching other kind of brands, uh, Earmore is one that comes to mind. Um, and there are some other ones out there. Uh, I can't, can't recall them off the top of my head um, at the moment. But if you're mixing and matching uh, a PTT made by one manufacturer and a headset made by another, so you could be using a real world PTT or headset with a knockoff PTT or whatever combination you're using, something might not work due to the cabling. Um, I'll get this out of the box, I'll show, you the, I'll show you the connector and then I'll go over some of the things to be wary of about um, the connector. Um, go from there. All right, so let's get this open. Um, on the box itself actually, there is um, a nifty diagram. So in the back here, you've got pictures of the, the cable connector and all the different, sorry, uh, Right, the cable connector and all the different PTTs that they offer and the walkie talkie style you can just about make it that's a Kenwood radio and that's the military style connector and then all these different PTTs what they offer there's a bit more information here um, they point you to the website there isn't a, inf there isn't a manual that comes in this um, I can remember I think there might have been a leaflet in there but there's no manual they point you off to the website to look um, so yeah, you need a headset, a PTT, right connector and the, and the right radio. So they do point you in the right direction, but it's key to remember that if you're having issues. Right, so let's um, get this out of the box. So you get the actual 
Break my earpiece and connector there. You get some extra um, earbuds. Uh, this bit actually came on the throat mic. I took it off. Um, I'll explain that off a bit more in a moment. So let's just put this box over there to one side. Okay, so so what you get is you get um, uh, a Velcro neck strap with um, uh, an, an air tube style air piece. Um, you get these two fancy little <laughs> um, receivers, sensors, speakers, whatever you want to call them. I'm not really sure what they're called. Your cable through to your PTT. Um, this cable is a, they, they term it as a military style connector. Um, so these come in a variety. If you're buying real steel gear, they come in a variety of options to be cabled. They can, can, be, can be completely custom by people that have custom radio gear, they could, and they're customized to their particular setup, or they can, be, they can kind of fall into um, standards, if you like. So um, I found out that the ZTAC gear is compatible with Peltor, so I'm assuming that these, these are a Peltor wired connector. Um, there's a NATO, there's a NATO style connector with these are these are wired in a certain way that marry up with NATO um, equipment. I think EM or maybe NATO. I'm not sure on that one. Um, so if you've got effectively a NATO, um, a NATO wired connector plugged into a Peltor wired PTT, um, some elements may work. You might be able to hear, but not. You might be able to hear someone talking but they won't hear you transmit or you might get static or they might not work at all so that could be the reason why um, these fail and um, certain people's setups so it's something to troubleshoot um, but uh, okay you get two extra earbuds there um, and it comes with this fitted in the middle and effectively this is a spacer this gives you an extra level of width on here so it's about between a quarter and a third of an inch extra space so it, it moves the sensors around on your um, uh, throat box I don't know what your larynx whatever that's called in your throat where it picks these signals up so effectively these two pads um, pick up the signal or the vibration emanated from your throat and transmits it um, as if it would uh, as if it was a microphone okay and then there's a speaker in here that just um, reverberates the sound down this hollow tube into your ear. So there's no speaker in this earpiece, it just comes down the tube and you hear effectively like an echo of the speaker in, in there. Right, so, um, and there's also adjustability on here. So I, I won't undo the straps on here, but they're, they're Velcroed all the way along, so you can pull them as tight as you need or as loose as, loose as you need. I have a 15 and a half inch neck, uh, and this fits me quite snugly, and I had to take this middle piece out um, to get the level of clarity that I was looking for um, for, for using these. Bit of a, <laughs> bit of a um, heads up on whether these may or may not work. Okay, so. Um, what I'll do is um, let's get a radio and a PTT and everything out there. So let's get tactical. Oh. All right, so here's my vest. My push to talk is um, sitting on my vest here. I'll just briefly show you that. So I have my PTT on here. Again, this is a ZTAC PTT and it's wired up. It goes all the way through my rig. Because uh, my radio sits in this front pouch here, so I just pop that on there and stick it in. Um, for the purpose of the demonstration, rather than me wear this, it's going to be easier for me to sit this on the desk. He says, Let's sit this on here and demonstrate it with the radio in front. All I need now is a radio. Right, so here we have a Bofang BF dash. 88E. In America, if you buy one of these, it's a dash uh, 88A. Okay, so you've got America and you've got Europe, apparently. Um, handy little radios, these. I will do another video on all the, the different radios that I have. 
but for now this is these are basic radio you can pick a couple of these up for 25 quid they come in pairs and um, channels 1 through 16 on off and volume um, they're not programmable on the unit but you can buy a little cable that you program them which is what I've done so I've got I think I've got the first channels 1 to 8 are standard PMR channels they're open um, and anyone can um, hear me on them and then what I've done is from channels 9 through to 16 I've set a sub channel um, a CT, CTSS sub channel so that it just filters my traffic or filters other people's communications on those channels out so I don't hear them. It's not encrypted by any state in any way, shape or form. It just filters them out so they can't hear me and I can't hear them. Okay. Uh, unless they set the same subchannel. Okay, so basic radio. This is a Kenwood adapter that goes in here, which is a Kenwood PTT that I have on here. So what you have to do is connect up your PTT to your radio. I'll try and put that there so you may be able to see the um, transmission light. So when I press that, the red light comes on there. Okay, don't know if you can see that. There you go, red light, when I push on there. And then um, you go ahead and put on your throat mic and just position it. If you feel in here when you talk, you can feel the vibrations on your throat when your larynx, I think that is. Um, I have it on my right hand side, I put it on there and connect this into your push to talk. And again, make sure everything is pushed in as far as it will go, because if anything's not not plugged in, you'll get static feedback, it'll be too low to hear, all that kind of good stuff, or not so good stuff. So I'll put this over my right here, there we go, it needs trimming down, so there's a lot of excess in here, and what you do is trim that down to where it fits nicely and it's nice and neatly behind your ear. Um, it comes with all this extra gump on there um, so that you can trim it down to fit you. All right, I haven't got to that yet, so excuse it if it looks a bit dangly. There's not really much point in me putting it in there because no one's going to be talking back to me during this demo. So, um, okay, we've got the throat mic in place. What I'm going to do um, is do a test chat on here or test transmit uh, and you'll pick up on the camera downstairs. Okay there you go so you um, done that piece there what I'll quickly do is swap this over so we'll see if there's any difference to having the piece on the left or the right hand side and the corners here for transmission. Okay, so there we go. I'm not going to put this in because it's all set up for the right hand side. Um, I'll just dangle that out there, I don't need it. But yeah, effectively, I've swapped these nodes around to be on the opposite sides, and we'll just do another test transmit. Okay, and as a comparison, what I would do is um, just take take that off. I'm not going to need that on there anymore, and I'll just do a straight um, transmit through the walkie-talkie without anything on it. Testing, testing from the Bosan BS88 without straight mic attached. Okay, so um, uh, I have had this set up and been wandering around the garden talking to my wife um, uh, just to confirm she can hear me um, and vice versa uh, and vice versa I I think this is a, a great budget setup for this I mean I don't have anything to compare it to I've never used a real steel or real world equivalent to this gear so I have nothing to compare it to but you know you can hear the voice transmitted my wife could understand what I was saying she responded and I kept sort of Checking whether that you know, you know, can you hear me? Okay, am I mumbling? Yada yada yada. And she said it all sounded fine. Um, I couldn't get her to put the throat mic on and test it back, so I, <laughs> so I don't know. I'll have to get a friend or um, someone to connect it up and have a play when next time I'm out on the field. Um, 
but yeah the, the volume on both of these is just past halfway so they're not flat out the volume's not flat out um, it's probably around about the 60% volume mark on the one downstairs and the camera and mic are about one and a half to two feet away from the actual um, receiver downstairs so it gives you some um, gives you an idea of the setup I've got downstairs um, okay so some final thoughts on this setup I do love these little bow fangs these are brilliant um, this headset has surpassed my expectations when I first tried this I had the spacer in and I didn't like I didn't really like the results it was very um, it was very faint and I didn't think that the clarity was very very good so I, I was about to give up on it and then um, looking at looking over the design I suddenly realized well that that can come out so I, I just pushed the pins out I moved took that centerpiece and the pin out then pinned it back in and made that um, slightly smaller gap between there put it on tried it and hey presto it, it worked for me so if you're having those issues with it try messing around with that middle piece there and taking it out and so on and so forth uh, really like that um, in terms of the quality of this earpiece um, I didn't mind I didn't mind it actually it, it fits okay um, once you've trimmed these tubes up and made sure that it fits okay with as little amount of slack as possible I think it'd be a lot better the sound quality coming through there because there's no dedicated speaker in this in this earpiece um, the sound it's it's a reverberation or an echo of the speaker that's in here it is perfectly good it's perfectly fine it's just a different type it's a different quality of audio than what you might be um, experiencing if you have a headset or earphones um, another configuration so um, I could hear everything okay um, it might not be for everyone if you want that crisper clearer clarity of having a speaker in ear um, you might you might not appreciate this setup but one of the benefits I did find with it is if there's a loud noise so when you're using radio gear sometimes the, the squelch on the release of the button can be quite high it can catch you off guard you might turn your radio up if com, you know if comes a low and then all of a sudden you get this squelch over the uh, over the net and it's deafening um, when you've got that speaker in your ear um, depending on what radio you're using with this this setup takes some of that out of it because there's a the sound has to travel down this tube and it softens it um, that's how that's how I would describe the audio that comes through here. It's 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 softer. It's 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 clear, but it's not crisp. Uh, it's soft and it's it's more forgiving if there's um, loud noise on the net. Okay, but um, I didn't have any issue with it. It's quite it's quite a nice soft um, sound actually that comes through there. All right, so um, yeah, I, like I say, I'm quite pleasantly surprised with this gear. Um, if you're troubleshooting it again just to reiterate make sure that you've checked that you've got the same either the same manufacturer all the way through or the same configuration of wiring if it's pelt or if it's NATO if it's something else make sure that it's all compatible all the way through um, and you should have no issues okay so for the for the cost of um, so you got 15 20 and 25 you know, for, und for und well under a hundred pounds, I have a, a comm set up on here that I can use at pretty much any event that I go to. And if I'm hooking up with a team or playing with other people and they have a radio gear um, and PMR channels, I can connect into those fine. Uh, so yeah, really chuff. So um, I hope if you've been looking at um, getting a throat mic, wondering whether these things work. I hope this little demo and test has helped you out. If it has, please go ahead and hit the like, subscribe and bell notifications. It really helps us out. Um, leave a comment below if you um, have any questions about this setup. If you want to know the exact kind of items that I've been using here, if you're interested in going and checking out those out for yourself, the links will be in the description um, below. So please go ahead and check those out. Um, 
I think that's everything for me. So yeah, um, hit me up in the comments if you've got any questions. Thank you for bearing with me to the end of this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.